UFC welterweight division matchup. Every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knee, the elbow. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, the stars have aligned, and the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history is back tonight. The former two-division champion, Conor McGregor, as such, the celebs are out. Let's see what type of version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. Usually when Conor McGregor shows up, it's usually his best right. version. He's a guy that takes a great amount of pride in preparing for the event. He says it's a fight every single time he sees his opponent, from the press conference to the weigh-ins to the stare-down. He is ready to show his opponent his best self every time he's in their face. And not only does he do that in the buildup when he gets into the octagon, with all the ability that he possesses, he's able to do that same thing. That's why he's been so successful and has gone from the top, from the bottom, to the top of the UFC in such a short time. Truly one of the elite strikers in UFC history. Moves every needle you would like him to move. And as you said, his work ethic, his preparation truly is legendary. Let's see if he has put in the right work in advance of this showcase fight here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Both fighters are 32. McGregor will have a three inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, we set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. All right, so we got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon. Effective punch there by McGregor. Oh, nice strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. And he counters with a left hand. Drips the body there for good measure. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, McGregor's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Big leg kick land. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Alright, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, McGregor's shot is blocked. Missed with that right hand. He loaded up there on that high kick. Looks like it did stop him a little bit. He's in trouble. He's getting He's up. got him hurt here. Oh, straight right. Two minutes remain in the round. He's very tricky when he throws that body. Vicious combo there. Just over 20 total strikes. Took down the mark for Conor McGregor. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate. He's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Wow. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Oh, rips the body shot there. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, a little 
single collar tie there. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Some nice back and forth action here. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Five minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece. There's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, if you're going to sit there at the drive through order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Big punch land. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to pull counter after blocking shots. Well, the proud Ireland native Conor McGregor seems to have found his range early here tonight. It's amazing what he has done, not just for the sport of mixed martial arts, but for the profile of Ireland in the UFC. History is going to look back fondly on all of the contributions Conor McGregor has made to his sport and to his country. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Big knee to the body. He's looking to land the right just out of range. McGregor's a strike attempt there is blocked. Nice slip to avoid the left. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. Big head kick lands. Just misses with the left. Oh! Oh! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Oh! His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some thrills with this ground and pound fighter. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Just missed on that spinning attack. Head off the center line, slips the punch. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Take that finish down now. 
Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Ooh, what a punch. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Attempt here. Nice job defensively there by McGregor. That was the hit. Nice strike. Oh! Tried to. Oh! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the belt. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times... Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now, because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At three minutes, 50 seconds of round number three, declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Conor McGregor! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout.